We'll pick up the story in May 86. The new kid on the block at Flyweight is Duke McKenzie, but many people thought Magri had the skills and the wiliness and he was still young enough to beat McKenzie. But then again, we know just how good a champion Duke McKenzie was to become. Second down, round one. Charlie Magri coming in from the left, defending his European title and trying to win back his old British title against Duke Mackenzie, the current British champion, and Gordon. And the whole of the Mackenzie fighting clan are here to cheer their, their boy on, including Brother Clinton. Well, little Charlie came full of confidence to the ring tonight, 29 years old now, former world champion, currently the European champion, and taking part tonight in his 12th major title fight. And giving away height and reach here to Mackenzie. Magri, his 35th fight tonight. Mackenzie, his 14th. Mackenzie hasn't lost a fight as a pro. watching Magri last week in the gym and he was really working hard he seems to have lost none of his old ambition and fire he's been around a long time but he's still hungry and he's beginning to lambast the body of Mackenzie and this is the typical whirlwind Magri start and he's finding his way through the defenses Mackenzie will need all his guile and skill and mobility here if he's going to keep out of trouble Charlie will be told about ducking too low there, I think. And Magri putting together a world-class assortment of punches. Everything in the repertoire coming out in this opening round. Mackenzie, some three inches taller. And six years younger. Magri hasn't come for a points decision. He's come to knock the man up. A whirlwind start by Magri, typical of little Charlie. Wonderful opening and full marks to, the, to Mackenzie for the way for the way he handled it. Charlie Magri, 29 years old, 34 pro fights, 30 wins, 23 of them have come inside the distance, four defeats. And two of those defeats have been in world title fights. making the first defence of this British title that he won at the Albert Hall last June with a four-round win over Danny Flynn of Scotland. Thirteen pro fights, Mackenzie, and won the lot, eight of them inside the distance. And Mackenzie's saying, very cool indeed under fire, and when Magri puts it together, it really is some sort of fire. Mackenzie trying very hard to get the left jab to work, Stop Charlie coming in at him. Mackenzie told about his shoulder. Mackenzie is getting the left to work very, very efficiently.
I think the feeling in the Mackenzie camp is very much that uh, Magri is bound to be at his most dangerous in these first few rounds. If they can get past this, then their man has every chance. Turning on, full firepower here, and Mackenzie so far has coped with it well. Well, these two little men look like putting up a classic battle here. fighting with their heads. Again, they're told to keep their heads up. Magic really has gone off at an amazing pace. Kenzie again goes in with the head down. Magri is so anxious to win this, so desperate to win this. He's pushing his man all over the place, setting him up for the punches, determined to finish this early. You're watching Sky Sports. Mackenzie holds and trying to defend his own European title. Magri won the British title in his third pro fight and never ever defended it. This is the first time since that he's fought for it. Another astonishing hooking barrage from Magri in this third round, putting Mackenzie under the most fierce pressure. And Duke Mackenzie gets off the ropes to comparative safety and gets the left and the right working and Charlie looks vulnerable what an amazing battle Charlie's cut underneath the left eye well he's been cut many times before it's happened again but it's under the eye so it won't worry him too much. That's the first sign of wear and tear, and that's been done by the accurate left hand of the British champion. And a little bit of fire has gone out of Magra's work. can't help feeling that with Mackenzie, six years younger, if he gets through these first three or four rounds, the odds on him are going to get better and better. And he's working Charlie over to the head now. Accurate left jabs and good right crosses. And Charlie's face is beginning to look very worn indeed. Again, the punch is rain on his head. Good round. The shoulder goes in from Mackenzie. Sid Nathan lets him get away with it. Again, the shoulder. Good 
the drum from McKenzie. You're watching Sky Sports. So this furious battle continues into the fourth. McKenzie, the British title holder. Magri, champion of Europe. Magri held the world title for six months in 1983. Certainly, uh, nobody has ever put Mackenzie in his professional career so far under this sort of pressure. And it's a tribute to the young British champion that he stood up to it so well and held his boxing together. And those accurate jabs could well be the undoing of Charlie Magri as this fight progresses. Magri goes in and hangs on. He looked a bit hurt there to me. Again, the heads come dangerously close together. And Charlie's picking up a lot of punishment around the head again, leading at the nose. And Magri must be beginning, be beginning to feel bitterly disappointed that the early onslaught hasn't really paid any dividends at all. Mackenzie is putting together the better quality punches now. Magri is still coming forward, hooking and hammering his way in. near the end of round four. And blood down the right hand side of Magra's nose now, near the eye. Magra's done an enormous amount of work there and it's rather nice that they always exchange a little uh, pat of the gloves as they part to go back to the corners at the end of every round. Terry Lawless now will need all his talk, all his inspiration here to motivate Charlie into a few more good rounds. Well, there's a whole uh, lot of the McKenzie clan. Here they are at the ringside. In the middle there is Clinton McKenzie, the former European and British light waterweight champion, cheering on his brother. McKenzie, of course, who uh, has now retired in professional boxing. champion, the former world champion, Charlie Magri, still coming forward. He's winning titles all his life, Charlie, from his very young amateur days. ABA junior champion, four times an ABA senior champion. Still coming forward, trying to knock the life and the hope out of McKenzie. Charlie's found a second win. Oh, the Mackenzie clan crying out for an uppercut from Duke. Charlie comes in with his head over. Magri 
Ivory is just driving and pushing and forcing McKenzie around this ring. And he takes the man's head right back with another punch. And Magri suddenly is right back on top again. Will he, will he crush the willpower out of McKenzie? take anymore. He waved the towel at the referee and Magri has been pulled out of the fight in the fifth round the same way he was pulled out of the, the world title fight with Sot Chitalada. Well we all know what Duke McKenzie went on to achieve. Three times a world champion at three different weights. <laughs> 